In this video, we're going to talk about file management. File management is not only a great way to keep uh, the material that you have in your Moodle course organized, but later on down the road, we'll show you how to actually display folders um, so that your students can access things like PowerPoints without having to put them directly into the Moodle and add a bunch of uh, material to the Moodle so that it gets cluttered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Files, and I'll go ahead and click on Files. Right now I don't have any files, and the file management does really look a lot like um, the file management system for, for Microsoft um, that you're probably used to. Uh, this is a little bit more, um, not quite as user friendly if you will. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you how this, how this looks. First thing I suggest you do is make folders for each one of your units. So if you have 10 units, you probably make 10 folders and name them unit 1, unit 2, so on and so forth. Or, uh, I'm teaching a world history class, if I know my first unit is a Reformation, I might create that folder and title it Reformation. However you want to do it, it's up to you. To make a folder, I just click on Make a Folder. I'll name it. I'll call it uh, Unit 1. And I'll click Create. When I do that, you're going to see the name of the folder, uh, how much uh, material is in it, if you will, the last date it was modified and then an op option for me to rename. Now if I click on unit 1 it takes me into that folder. You'll see this parent folder um, link here that just takes me back up one if you will. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make another folder call it unit 2. Create that. Now I have two. Again, I'll go back into my unit 1. I don't have anything in the actual folder. There's my parent folder. Brings me back out, uh, or up one, if you will. So I'm going to go into unit 1. Another thing I suggest you do is that you create a folder. Um, say, for example, if you use PowerPoints to teach with, for, say, direct instruction, if you will, I would make a folder that is called... PowerPoints um, or something along those lines. PowerPoints used for direct instruction or what have you. Click create. Then I might make another folder and call that say homework. Just real quick like that. Um, and we'll just leave it there for right now. We'll, we'll go that far. Alright, so if I go back up to my parent folder I have my units here. If I click on unit 1, I have these two folders. Say, for example, I click on PowerPoint. When we get to that point, we can start adding um, material to the folder. I don't want to do that now. We can do that at, at a later point in time. Now, the reason why this is important is because if you don't do this from the beginning, um, and maybe your H drive looks like this, you'll just have a bunch of files there without any real good organization to it and it will help you uh, navigate Moodle and, and, and run a better Moodle course if you have these folders and if you have it organized. For example, I don't want to get ahead of, uh, of ourselves here if you will, but under resources it allows me to display a directory and if I choose that I can name this directory say PowerPoints used for direct instruction for the unit. So I can put all of my PowerPoints that I use to teach in a particular unit in one folder instead of having to put, so let's say I have five that I use for a unit, instead of having to put all five of those PowerPoints directly into Moodle so there's one, two, three, four, five um, files there, I just have one folder with five files in it. It's a nice management feature. But the only way I can do that is to create those files. Now where it asks me to display a directory, what I want to display I can go back down to Unit 1 PowerPoints. Okay, again, this is something we'll go over a little bit later, but just kind of a, a preview of why it's important to have good file management skills. And that is the video on file management.